Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're in the great outdoors. But you know it's not so great. This old worn out patio right here. So in today's video, we're going to put down a new layer of concrete over it. And this is going to be a multi-part series. So first we're going to start with this concrete slab. Then we're going to build a fire pit with a seating area around it. And we're also going to put up a privacy fence to our left here. That'll give us some privacy from the road and all that. Then we're going to build a paper patio and where the camera is right now in the back corner. And that's where we're going to put our grill at and other things, grill related stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so our first step is we need to get everything cleared off the patio here and get it cleaned up real good. Now I'm using a pressure washer to remove the dirt, but if you don't have access to one, just a simple brush and some soap can clean it just as well. But it will obviously take a lot more time and effort. So now I'm scrubbing it with a degreaser to finish off the cleaning part. And had to have the supervisor come by and check it out, and after getting his approval, I went and laid out the forms. So to make the forms, I'm using some 1x2 lumber, and I just used the cheapest one that they had available at the local home improvement store. And I'm putting some wooden stakes around the perimeter to hold them in place when we start to pour. And I just used the old slab as a guide for the form since it's already squared up and everything like that. So here I'm applying a bonding adhesive. And this can be applied in several different ways according to the manufacturer, so I just uh, chose the roll on wet method, as that seemed to be the simplest way to do it for me. So now we just let this dry in the sun, and after that we can start to mix and pour the concrete. So I'm using a bucket and a mixer to pour this. Of course, you could simply use a wheelbarrow or and a hoe to mix everything up together. And I find that it mixes a lot quicker if we put the water in the mixer in first before the concrete mix. And before pouring, I'm slightly damping the old concrete slab to help prevent the new concrete from drying out too quickly. Unfortunately, my dad was able to help me out with this project, which I really appreciated as I was dealing with a cold at this time. Of course, you could do this job by yourself, but hey, if you have a friend or relative who's willing to help you out for an hour or so, I would strongly encourage it. Now, as far as the consistency goes for the concrete, you want to be wet enough so it'll be easy to smooth and level, but at the same time, you want to dry enough so it'll hold its shape. And as you can see, the first batch that I poured was a little bit on the dry side, but in later batches I made it a bit more wetter, which made it a lot easier to level and smooth. And we found that just by leveling it as we went along with the trowel worked pretty well for us. Of course, the usual way that you would usually do this is to take like a 2x4 board to screed it. Now this patio is at 8 feet by 10 feet, and it took about 23 bags to make it about a little bit less than 2 inches thick.
So now that we're done pouring it, I'm going to do a broom finish to it. And unfortunately, I forgot to hit the record button when I did this. But basically, you just take a broom and you just slowly pull it towards you with just the weight of the broom on the concrete. Now that all that's left is just let it cure, which uh, you want to follow the manufacturer's instructions on this, as you, they may recommend keeping it damp for it to wet cure. And then once it's cured, you just uh, remove the forms and then we're done. And now for the cost breakdown. I spent $115 on concrete, forms and stakes were $18, and the bonding adhesive came to $22, and coming to a grand total of $155. And overall I think I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It wasn't as difficult as I was expecting. As far as how long it took, um, due to being sick at this time, it took me a couple days to complete as I was only able to do a little bit at a time. But if you had help and the materials ready, you could probably easily do this in one day, possibly, if you exclude the cure time, as each step took roughly an hour to complete. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and our next video in this outdoor project series is going to be building the privacy fence. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check that out when it drops. And until next time, later!